Hello and welcome back. So now we will talk about the scenario one about analyzing this storm data. Imagine you are a weather analyst tasked with monitoring and analyzing storm events across the United States. You have been given a large data set of storm events called storm events. And you need to find a ways to analyze and extract insights from this data. So if you get a question, for example, like this, which state experienced the most storm events? Okay, so we need to calculate that. And what was the total damage caused by the storm in Texas? So we now we have the state name and total damage. We have already seen that's one of the column. And when did the most damaging storm occur? So when it has has the most damaging. So we need to calculate the highest number of damaging cost. So in order to do that, which kind of SQL, I mean KQL query we need to write. So usually we need to use this one. Storm events is nothing but the table name. And then we need to use by where state is equal to equal to Texas that is exactly matched to this particular keyword and project which is the select statement because we just need to have three columns which is when did the most damaging storm occur which is the start time and what was the total damage caused by storm events in Texas so that's why we use damage property and which state experienced the most storm events so storm events so that's the reason we are using up here event type so if I run this query on my KQL so storm events where state state equal to Texas and then I can use pipe here and here we need to use project which is this one project is equal to I mean project start time event type and damage property after selecting these three things if I click on run then you will be able to see this information the start time of the data which is this one and event type is this one and this other damage property which has happened in Texas so if I scroll down you can see on 27th January 11 so we have a strong wind which is 25,000 of damage property here and so I scroll down further to some other dates here as you can see we have a tornado on 20, 2007 March 31st which is 100,000 damage property. So this is how we can simply take our data and pass this value which is where condition and project to select this thing and we can fulfill this question scenario here. Similarly, we will look into other informations in our next scenarios.